Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this lesson, we'll be discussing another functional equation problem that can be solved using the substitution strategy. But this time, instead of evaluating the value of f of x, we need to evaluate the value of only f of 0. So, that sounds simple, right? Let's find out. So the problem statement is the following. The function f from r to r satisfies the following relation, f of f of x equals x squared minus x plus 1. And we are asked to evaluate the value of f of 0. OK, so what we need to do right here is just evaluate the simple value of f of 0. That sounds simple. So let's try plugging in some numbers. Let's try substituting x with 0. Let's find out. x is substituted with 0. Now we have the value of f of f of 0, and it equals 1. So instead of evaluating the value of f of 0, we have evaluated the value of f of f of 0. Well, that's not useful. Let's try plugging in 1. Well, you can see that we can evaluate also the value of f of f of 1. So here we are going to have f of f of 1 equals 1 minus 1 plus 1, which is 1. So we can evaluate the value of f of f of 1. Well, we keep, if we keep on doing this, if we keep substituting with small numbers, 0, 1, 2, 4, we will always get the value of f of f, but we can never evaluate the value of f of 0. So what can we do? Well, here we have a little trick. We all know the saying that don't wait chances to happen, make them yourself. Well, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Uh, instead, of, uh, instead of plugging in the values of small numbers, let's try plugging in f itself. So we're, we're going to be substituting with f of x instead of x. So let's find out. Let's substitute x with f of x and see what will happen. Well, now we have f of f of f of x equals f of x squared minus f of x plus 1. So now the right-hand side does contain the value of f, but the problem is with the left-hand side. Now we have f composed with f composed with f of itself. So that's not nice at all. But shall we give up? Not yet. Uh, the simple reason is the following. We are plugging in f of x from the inside. So here we said that we substituted x with f of x. But what we can say is that we have taken the f of the left hand side. So we can say that we have taken the f of the left-hand side and the f of the right-hand side, which means that uh, when we have this relation, we have a big f right here and a, another big f right here, of course, because it's an equation. So we can now say that f of f of f of x equals also f of x squared minus x plus 1. Now that is a simple functional equation. See, we have only one f in both the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So now let's try substituting with some small numbers. Since we need to evaluate the value of f0, let's plug in 0 itself. So now let's plug in 0 and find out. In this functional equation, we are going to have f of 0 square minus f of 0 plus 1 equals f of 1. Okay, so now we have f of 0 depending on f of 1. So let's evaluate f of 1. Let's try substituting x with 1. So we are going to have f of 1 square 
minus f of 1 plus 1 equals f of 1. That means uh, we have f of 1 equals 1. Okay, so now we have the value of f of 1 equals 1, which means that that equals 1. Now we have 1 cancels the 1 right here, and we have now f of 0 times f of 0 minus 1 equals 0. So now we have f of 0 times f of 0 minus 1 equals 0, which means that f of 0 equals either 0 or 1. So we have two cases that we need to discuss. Let's take the first case. Let's discuss the first case, f of 0 equals 0. Well, this f of 0 equals 0 is not acceptable. And the reason is simple. If you look at here, we have f of f of 0 equals 1, which means that f of f of 0 equals f, if we have f of 0 equals 0, that will be uh, equal to f of 0, which is also 0. So that's a contradiction. Here we have f of f of 0 equals 0, and here we have f of f of 0 equals 1, so that's not acceptable. So we can exclude this and now we have the only uh, acceptable case is that f of 0 equals 1. And that indeed satisfies the following f of f of 0 equals f of 1 which is equal to 1 and we're done. So the moral of the story is that when you have the value of f composed with itself, always think of substituting with f, not just from the inside, but from the outside as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, like, share and subscribe and see you in the next lesson.